Hey there guys, thanks for joining us on another board game night. Uh, tonight we're playing Roadhog by Randall Hoyt and it's Ultra Pro and Jolly Roger Games. So, uh, Martin picked this up at Essen and uh, as you can imagine, he's here with us tonight. And we have uh, Malo and Tony. Uh, uh. <laughs> Actually, just to fill you in, uh, Randall Hoyt, you may have seen a documentary he did it was called something like the, the next greatest american board game or next great american board game something like that and that is this is that game basically and he was there he was very excited the board and me and barney spoke to him and basically thought hell we'll support him and bought it but he did sell out of everything that he took as well which is a good good sign is the documentary on youtube because uh, if it is i could put a link to the the documentary I don't know, below but there's a rado review of it and rado was very uh all right, well. as, he, as he is, he's very appreciative of the, the thing. But Or well, actually, if it's on YouTube, I can put it in a sleeve card slider thing up here. Wow, you've got really fancy. <laughs> um, <laughs> however, it did seem like he was filming a sequel to it as well, because me and Barn kind of got introduced and he was filming another bit, so then there could well be a sequel of him getting published and going to Essen with the game and stuff, so that'd be cool. Cool. All right, well, this is going to be... This is a, a You can buy this in retail, right? Eventually. Because, I, I mean, you bought it. It's out here now, but... So mm. this will be a review of this. All right, so um, what's going to happen here is we're going to give you the basic rules and then we're going to show you some gameplay where we're playing through a couple of rounds uh, and then we'll come back with our verdict. So uh, as I'll give Martin the lead on this. He can explain how the game works. Go okay. on, Martin. All right, um, it's fairly straightforward, about sort of 30-minute game. Uh, beer and pretzels kind of wait and quite a lot of dicking each other over in it as well. So in essence, we are trying to beat the traffic and get from the entrance, the entry bit over there to the exit, be the first there. So we're in a race, but obviously there's an awful lot of traffic on the, the road as we go. So your turn consists of you rolling these two dice. One affects your movement, how far you can move, and it goes two, three, and four. Oop. There's good Shit. effort, just <laughs> having a small embolism. Um, two fours, three threes, and a two. Um, so on average you're going to be moving about three spaces and then this dice can affect the traffic um, that's around, moving them out of the way or putting more down or whatever and then you've got cars and cars are where the real kind of meat of the game comes from so they can affect yourself, they can affect the traffic, they can affect other people um, they can cancel other people's cars, that sort of thing and you're given, you draw up to three um, cars at the end of your turn as well so I guess you're kind of encouraged to play as many cars as you can really don't save them, spend them, they're not precious. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. It's just get there first by whatever means you can. From setup's point of view, um, you can put these tiles out in any um, order. There are more tiles as well, so there's one with like roadworks on the side. And they tell you how many, <laughs> oh, you can't see that, they tell you how many cars are on them. And uh, the only um, prerequisite is you can't be next to each other, and there has to be one in each lane. And you've got some trucks that fill up two spots. And they're a lot harder to move as well, slow moving. And you've got a toll booth over there, which means you can only go straight <laughs> through. You can't change lanes and stuff over there. Uh, that's about it. So nice and simple, as they say, beer pretzels. Roadhog from Russell Randall Hoyt. Let's get started. We'll be back with the gameplay in a sec. All right, so this is the gameplay turn. As you can see... That's where I am. There's a row of freaking cars blocking me off. It's a bunch of campers on their way to a holiday weekend. It, it, Trucks taking up the middle lane as usual. You were boxed in behind yeah, the Yeah, I was boxed in behind <laughs> there. Thanks a lot, Tony. The truck just appeared out of nowhere. They do just fall out the sky, don't they? Yeah. And then you've got a line of everyone else on the outside ring here. All right, so it's Martin's turn now. He's the first player. So first thing he's going to do is roll the dice. Here we go. So I've got two dice. This one will affect the traffic, so the white neutral stuff. And this is my movement. And now I can begin playing cards. And I think I'm gonna do a rude hand gesture at Molo first. Right, I don't need to wave all my fingers. <laughs> uh, so I take a random card from your, from you, from your hand. To play I key. don't think so. Oh. <laughs> so possibly it was. Crap. Just not happening. So counter spell. <laughs> How am I gonna get around this? <laughs> Okay, I've got it. I'm assuming when I play that counter spell, I don't draw up to three again. I just Correct. wait for draw at the end of the mm. turn. Yeah. Right, I'm going to use my traffic die to move this one out of the way. Hang on. Okay, so he's using that die. Oh God, I'm going to do that. Which allows to move allows you to move one of the neutral cars left, right, up, or down. I'm going to move me first. So 
I'm going sideways here. You can see because you want to bend, that's sideways. And then I'm going to use a traffic card. You can basically split this up at any point. So I've used one point of this. Yeah, so, so you've got like a back. pool of action points. Then I'm going to play <clears throat> beep. That's all I have to say. Uh, one player goes forward, one goes backwards. You can't ring that, Milo? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, so he's going back there. Hank. I'm going forwards. And then I've got two move left. Or three move left, sorry, but only two. And you can't go diagonally. You can only go orthogonally unless you're on one of the Correct, spaces. Yeah, the, the bends are a bit funky. Now I'm going to play an on-ramp to add a car to the road. Honk. <laughs> <laughs> And then, these cars are just appearing out of nowhere. Yep, and then I'm gonna draw up to three, and that's my go. All right, so now my go. I need something good to move those cars. Oh, actually, I'm not sure. All right, so I'm gonna have to move one of the neutral cars first, and he is gonna go there, because he can only go uh, basically on my square or one of those squares, <laughs> which is really, really, really annoying. You're gonna crawl forward one spot, are you? No, because I just rolled a four as well, which is it's got forward and backwards for a few times. <laughs> so I will move forward one. This is where you want that weave, man. Yeah, I know. Or whatever. Um, some kind of swerve off the road. I think that's about as that's about as much as I can do. I I want to play this so I don't keep it in my hand. I imagine you're driving right up his bumper as well there. He's like looking at the rear view mirror going, what a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this doesn't affect anyone really nasty. You know what, I'm just going to keep it in. <laughs> you, can, you can ditch as well, I can ditch one. You know what, I will ditch it. Just move someone left or right. Oh man, I'll definitely get that. It's a great mm. card. I know, I wanted to keep it, but nah. Right, that's the end of my turn. Go on then, Tony. Three moves and move one car. You're red, aren't you? So he's right at the back. Mine's driving a pink. I imagine it's a VW Beetle. <laughs> Lots of flowers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it's a Chrysler Cruiser. <laughs> nice. Three. So that's my movement dice. <sighs> How's he going to screw Milo over? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm wondering how we're going to get through this if <laughs> this guy's just plodding along in front of us. Ah, we'll move them out of the way. Don't worry. <laughs> Have you played games with me before? No, no. no one just moved back into the queue. No, that's not ideal. Oh, Is that you done, Tony? He's done. Oh, Alright, Milo. <coughs> so, oh, awesome. Oh, he can move a truck. Uh, so, or two cars. Put the dice over here so we can see more. So, uh, he's got, as you can see, <coughs> a double car or a truck and three move actions. So that's basically, you can move one car twice, two cars once, or a truck. Smiley you wave. Can, again, you can split it as well, so you can move one car, do some of your move, move another car. Smiley wave. Um... Roll right. them together. Give me one of your cards of your choice. Opponent chooses a card to gift. Ah, dick move. Um, <clears throat> I don't really want to give Milo either one of these cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, cancel it then. I can't. Well, Can someone else cancel it for me? <laughs> if if we wanted to. <laughs> that ain't happening. It's, if it's not coming to me, it ain't getting cancelled. <laughs> Here you go, Milo. Ooh, that's very handy, thank you very much. I know, and I needed it. <laughs> <laughs> Three indi individual traffic cars once. Oh, that could that could be very nasty. Oh God, <laughs> chaos is about to ensue, isn't it? <laughs> okay. All right, we'll move the trap back with one. And I'll get one. Oh, that's, that's not you. Me. Oops, sorry. Oh, you're, you're, you're the pink one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man, no, maybe I don't. Oh, this could be a problem. <laughs> You're you're stuck. <laughs> he could move the other truck forward one, just change lanes and go on the outside. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, how are we going to do this? Um. It's not looking good, really, is it? Well, one thing I will note, uh, just mention while Molo's thinking, there where the board is cut is actually supposed to be more yellow lines, as yeah, far as we understand. Yeah, so, it's the lane, basically. So these are two spaces, not one space. <coughs> thought I'd mention that now that you've seen us just like plod along on the same square well if I can't do what I want 
then. It's going to screw everybody else. Everybody suffers. <laughs> isn't, isn't that what your normal plan for every game is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's exactly it. Um, okay, I am going to... That back there. One, using the track thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... Oh, God. <laughs> Those trucks managed to meet is going to be really, really bad. <laughs> I will um, spend a card to oh, let's just drag everything down, drag you all to hell with me. Uh, we'll drift that card into there. With drift, use your blinker next time. <laughs> Oh, no. It kind of feels like we're uh, mm. attracting all the cars. I feel like some sort of magnet. Back to you, man. No. All right, here we go. Let's do something half decent here. Three. I got a very, very average roll. Right, I'm going to use this dice to move this one here. I'm going to play a log jam. Talk about a backlog. Move three individual cars. That's what I just gave you, Muller. It is. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> oh, God. Here we Talk go. to the hand. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll drop alongside Jason anyway. Oh, I was going to get out of there as well. Damn you. Um, and I'm going to play GPS. I can see for miles. Player may draw up to a hand of four cards in my turn, which is now. So these are <clears throat> driver cards. Nice little card that. Right, come on. Let's see if I can get the hell out of Dodge. Oh, jeez. That's add or remove a car. So not move. No, no. remove is not bad. Or add. Ooh. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to remove this one. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm not going nowhere. And then I've got four movement actions. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and yep, yeah, yeah. four. And then I'm also going to play <clears throat> lead foot, step on it. Moves me another two spaces. No, it doesn't. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> buzzkill. You, you really are buzzkill. <laughs> Bummer, dude. All right, fine. If that's what you're going to be like. Wow. I'm going to add construction zone. Add two more card. Oh, no, this is the roll tile ahead. That's freaking... Oh, that'd be a toll. Toll booth. Put it near the toll booth. You know, it's good. I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> add two cars. You can't put them on the toll booth itself, so they have to go before or after. I right. mean, you could have put a truck down with that. No. no. So I'll put them right there, Jeez. log up the friggin' road even more. I need to go the outside lane here, I think. And then I'll draw three cards. And then Tony can take his turn. <sighs> two. Okay. One, two. Oh, yes. Weave, watch and learn. <laughs> Thinking, go, you're blocking me again. <laughs> no, no, no. I can move one. I'm gonna go use that dice still. Let's go use it for that one. No, you <laughs> bastard! <laughs> Here we go. Right, it's, it's not the end of the world, but still. And oh, I'll, yes, I'll, it is. I'll move the truck! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Love it. laughs> <laughs> Let's get moving. Okay. That's pretty much all my around. Oh, <laughs> truck can move. Excellent. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh... <laughs> oh dear. So fucking annoying. <laughs> oh, you wait. <laughs> There's some bad shit gonna happen for you in a minute. Why me? Leave me alone. You're ahead. <laughs> okay, admittedly not far. <laughs> Every time I get ahead, I get trapped in my friggin' truck. <laughs> it's like some sort of magnet towards them. Log jam. Talk about pack log. Three, three individual cars. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> oh no, in about it's gonna well. be fine. Okay. One, two. Oh my god. Move this one across as well. Or this one. Yeah, that one. Move this one into there. Three. Because oh, he wants to get through. Yeah, he's trying. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to convince him he's the red one. <laughs> there you are. Backseat driving from Molo's car. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Come on, Dad. Are we there yet? Is that you done, Molo? 
Not now he's more what? chaos to come. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Yield. I own you. And um, you can go here. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Jesus, do you own me? Draw the candle spells. <laughs> okay, that's me done. <laughs> Draw up. Okie dokie. Oh shit. Four and move a car. <coughs> right, first things first. I'm going to have a traffic cam on you, Jason. You all look like little bugs from up here. Look at opponent's hand and take a card from it. Or keep. Uh, to keep. Or play. That's what he played on me. I didn't have a can of spells, so I've just given him my hand <coughs> to have a look at. Leave me the blue one, please. I'm actually tempted to take that and play on you. No! <laughs> <laughs> Such a bastard. You but actually, it. I'd rather dick you over. No! Stop dicking I'm really dicked over. Dick Muller over. Take oh, over no. Thank you. Right, I will... Oh, no, I needed that one. Oh. Uh, it was a close call ahead of you, Jason. Accidents really do happen. You're gonna like this. Stop playing it on me! Oh no, there's been a car crash. <laughs> what does that mean? You can't move that car anymore. It can be removed, but you can't move it. Uh, right, I'm gonna have a little snack. I'm gonna hit the spot. I'm gonna move out here. And I get to move four. One, two, three. I'm gonna play that one. Uh, I'm late for work. So this one moves forward two. I've got one more move left. And then I use my dice. And I think I'll move that up there. And that's me. Oh Christ. <laughs> well, it's not looking good. Oh I can remove Ah oh, you Johnny git. <laughs> well, I'm definitely removing that <coughs> piece of shit car right there. Um and then while I'm at it, I'm gonna move forward two spaces wise. then I'm going to play a rest area draw two cards play or keep one discard the other no oh. uh, right, I'll discard that one Ooh, move a trucker eh yeah I'm going to play this mind control Move two traffic cars, one space. Uh, they can't go backwards off the toll booth. Oh, right. Once they're on there. Okay, I'll move that one over. And. Well, I'm going to play this one here. Speed Trap. Opponent discards one card and moves one back, back one space. Rage. <laughs> I'll have that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so much that he cancelled it, it's the fact that he took it as well. Jesus. All right, then I'll draw three cards. Is he going to apologise to it? Slip, slip, stream. Ah, fuck, nice. <laughs> Roll up my sleeves and no reason. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys might might have noticed by this gameplay team that this is quite a dick over game. <laughs> right, are we ready to rock? Yeah. Yay! Right, well, it's got a lot of movement. Catch up. Uh, Not really. You got, unless you can go diagonally. Well, you can move oh, this, you can... this one out of the way. Just go down the inside or something, or move that one and go down the middle. If you can hear that, that's my son going mental on the Xbox. So, what are you doing? You're moving yeah. that one to Move the that side. One. So, one, two, three. Get up there. Okay. Um. Well, Molo, when you're done, we'll probably end off there and then come back to you at the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, and I will play Speed Trap on you. What does it do? Uh, move back one, discard a card. Oh, that's the one I played on you. Yeah, the one I stole. Oh, money. Okay, I won't play it on you then. 
Oh, you're playing the speed trap yeah. on me? Yeah, I've, I've moved a back one already. Yeah. No, 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 I can't hear it. Okay, okay. Oh my god, how many Hang guns? Hang on, do you want to pause it? All right, so uh, he's yeah, cancelling. Yeah, he's yeah. cancelling your card. Yeah. And your, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And he's cancelling cancel Tony's. So there's a lot of cancelling, yeah. cancelling going on there. Counter your counter spell. Well, how are you? Oh, that was one you discussed. Yeah. 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 And he's and he's moved back as well. Okay, uh, hairy eyeball. You can move back another space. No! Oh, oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's probably dicking you over, Tony. <laughs> All right. So that is the end of your turn, and um, that's basically three rounds we did there, so <laughs> you can see it goes pretty quick. So we'll finish off the game, hopefully I'll make it to the finish line before the rest of them, and uh, we'll come back to you with a verdict. Alright, so we're finished off with the gameplay turn. What an exciting end to that game, it was absolutely manic. But we're going to do the quick uh, verdict, and we're first going to go through the hierarchy in last place. It's a custom reposition for Molo. Uh, even we all finished and he had another turn to go before you could get out <laughs> thanks to Tony who but came I in. was conned out of my victory though I rolled a two on yeah. the dice anything other than a anything two anything other than a two and I would have got off and he would have won not I only just won. Got, yeah. <laughs> yeah. instead no. what did you go on third I, I uh, could potentially have won on that turn as well except I also rolled a two <laughs> <laughs> so it shows you how close it was because I came second and Martin came first and, and more impressive, you came second after being totally yeah. surrounded by <laughs> I like thought you were going to last, definitely. You were in a big queue either side. I'll stick up a couple of pictures over here in the corner. You could see how the traffic jam looked. Man, it was nuts. It was so full yeah, of cars. Bear in mind, Jason's green, so you'll see him completely surrounded by <laughs> yeah. cars. And there was an accident here, a truck coming up, which wasn't very helpful. I was, I was thinking, I'm going to be stuck in this traffic forever. This is literally the M25 car park. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so there you go, who won? Well done, Martin. What did you think of the game? That's good fun. Um, I mean, contrary to the name of the uh, the documentary, and apologies, Randall, this is not the next greatest American game. However, <laughs> it is good fun. It does exactly what it sort of sets out to. It's a kind of a light beer and pretzels, fun, roll dice, dick other people over thing. And it's, you know, it's just kind of <laughs> thematic, I guess. So, yeah, it it's is, exactly yeah. What, it, what it does, yeah. It does feel like you're stuck in traffic at times. You've got to come into the game. Know, if you come into the game knowing what it is, what sort of game yeah. it is, you can have a lot of fun at this game. Yeah, absolutely. I think the components are really nice. I really like the... I'm not sure whether these are custom meeples, but I'm pretty sure they're custom trucks. And I love the fact what they've done. They've kind of rubber backed these um, boards. Apparently, um, Randall was telling me at Essen that Ultra Pro are looking to patent this idea. But basically, they're sort of non-slip mats on the back of the, the cardboard, which I think is great. And there are a few more as well. Yeah, um, so there's a few extra tiles so you can make the road works. Oh, that's cool. You can make the game, you know, the road different. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of different ways of playing as well. You want to yeah, say. Yeah, there was a few variants, weren't there? Like weather, basically, you don't have the road set out. You draw from a, a face down stack. Uh, the person whose turn it is decides on the orientation of the tile, then everyone else puts the traffic cars on, um, which is interesting. And it plays five players as well. Yeah. So. You a blue token. Which God only knows the chaos that would ensue. In that. Oh, I mean, it's it's a it's a half an hour game of literally just dicking each other over and just trying <laughs> trying to get to the end, and, and it does that very well, I think. Yeah, it does indeed. There's a lot of dickage. I mean, it's literally turn after turn. Right, who's kicking me in the nuts this turn? Yeah, yeah it's just nickel and diamond trying to get your position, really, isn't it? Yeah. So based on that principle, what would you give it? I, a... I think I'm going to give it a based on that principle a seven. Um, however, in terms of game turns, I think it's probably more like a 6.5, but, you know, make of that what you will. I think in, if you're going into it thinking, fun, dice roll, dick over your friends kind of game, it's definitely a 7. How was the rules to learn? Pretty easy? Well, I haven't read them. Oh, I, so uh, I, I played with the designer at Essen, and I'm just going by what he said, and when I can't remember something, I'll look it up, but Fair. it doesn't look that complicated. Yeah, how about you, Marlo? <coughs> I, I really like this. Uh, it's I thought you might. Sort of game where you just sort of <laughs> screw each other over constantly. At um, one point, I thought he was trying to screw other people over more than he was trying to win. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can get a bit carried away with this. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's very reminiscent, though. It's a lot cleaner and smoother of a Russian bash. These Mario's oh, yes, yeah. style well, game. They came out last year, was it? Or, uh, or probably early this year? Well, I, I picked it up at um, Expo. Expo, Expo, Expo yeah. yeah. So, 
Um, but yeah, uh, a lot cleaner, a lot quicker as well. But yeah, yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, I'd say definitely worth a seven. That's everything great about it. I'll even love the little I mean, the trucks. The trucks are really fantastic. Good, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Would you pick up a copy yourself? I, I had a quick check to see if it was out yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's that sort of game. I'll probably pick up a copy as well because it's a great game. If you've got half an hour to fill and you want to laugh, this is yeah one of the games to get. And I'll definitely pick up a copy as well. Yeah. How much should you give it out, Tim? Just for interesting. Four. Four? Wow. No, no, oh my no. God. no four, it's for the game that it is, for this type of quick game, I would give it a nine for this type of game. Mm. Overall, for a, In a ranking, of, a all ranking games. of all games, I'd give it about seven. That's a very fair comment. I mean, I, I didn't know what to think when, uh, when Morton was telling me about this game. He explained it to me when I saw him the other day. And it's like, it sounded a little fun, but now that I've played it, it's actually quite a lot of fun. It's so, I mean, you've got to come into it knowing that you're going to get dicked over a lot. These yeah. cars are basically just going, you're going to take this, you're going to take oh, this. Yeah. These trucks take are going to... Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and, but if you can take that on the chin and you know that you're going to be giving as much as you get to the other players, it's <laughs> actually quite a lot of laughs. And uh, it's actually really clever as well, the, the way the game works. I thought it was really interesting. You know, you know it's, it's simple, but... There's enough decisions to make and interesting interesting gameplay. Components are really good. Mm. Uh, fun little cars and the roads are fantastically made. I mean, they're not going to slide around. So that's always a problem with these type of tile games. You know, the mm. sliding around and things are moving. But this, this doesn't slide at all. Uh, really simple mechanics. It's a really fun game, actually. I like actually. The, with the cars because it could just be cars. But I like the addition of the dice. Yeah. To, to a bit of a mitigation mm. factor mm. on your cards, maybe... I like that. that I, yeah. I like that as well. That the fact that you 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 got like this pool of action points, yeah. so you didn't have to. Go, I'll spend all my movement. And one then... of the things that Randall was saying when I was playing, he said he doesn't like to be kind of like restricted by rules, and so he he left it very free. You can do any of the things hmm. at any point in your turn. So it's exactly that. You kind of added cards, dice, and you know movement points if you like to this pool, and you can just take them out as and when you need them, basically. And that was yeah. his aim to do that, and I think he's done it really well. Yeah, I think I think it's really good. I, I'm interested to see what it was like early iterations because obviously this must have changed quite dramatically over the I think he said it's been like seven years like <laughs> pitching it to people it's gone through name changes and no end of different changes and all sorts so no that's really good I really enjoyed it I think I'll give uh, like I kind of like what Tony was saying is like if you know if you were ranking this on a basis of you know these type of games Dick you over, quick like Philip, B and Pretzel games, probably eight and a half type game. Mm. You know, overall all the rankings of all games, I'd probably give it a seven as well. And I'd, I'd buy a copy of this because I think it's quite Do fun. Do you think your kids would play it though? Because it's a bit. I think Alex would like it because if he's playing with his friends, my older son, because uh, he likes that sort of, you know, Dick you over sort of stuff. Mm. Um, but I think my youngest one might not in like the fact that he's constantly getting screwed over. Mm. But then he can screw Daddy over, so... Yeah. Uh, so, but no, it's good. You know, think about it, talking about um, playing the game with the kids, um, kind of like that Reef game that you had that once as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Reef Root. Mm. Mm. It is actually very... Yeah, it's a very good point, yeah. actually, yeah. Reef Root is basically the child's version, the kid's version of this. Mm. Um, yeah, so there you go. Yeah, I think it's really good. And uh, I don't know if it's coming to retail yet or what, so... Uh, well, I mean, it's published by Ultra Pro. I didn't even know they published games, to be honest, Ultra Pro, but it's well, published been... by them, so I'm assuming that they'll they'll bring it out to retail before too long. But it well, was they... Essen, what, last week, so... They've been buying a lot of little companies up, and I think, I actually, what I was thinking about earlier, I think they bought Jolly Roger games. Um, but, yeah, so, there you go. Um, go check it out. Um, as I said, hopefully we'll put a, a link to his little video up at the top here. If it's on YouTube, it can go in the corner there. And uh, go check it out. Maybe you'll like it. It depends on what you like from this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you guys later. Cheers. Bye.